Hi friends! So I've been talking to a few vegans and vegetarians this week and a topic that kept coming up was the discussion on complex proteins. Uh, a lot of people when they try to go vegan or vegetarian get really tired and that is because they don't have complex proteins in their diet. Uh, especially with the change of season, it's getting colder now, we need a lot more warming foods to um, sustain our energy levels. So today I'm going to show you a recipe that uh, will inspire you to stay warm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use these ingredients. Uh, we're going to make a bit of a stew. Now lentils are really high in protein and they will be part of your complex protein. It's important to have lentils or beans in your diet uh, when you cut meat out. I've got ginger, my mixed mushrooms I got from the farmer's market, some sweet potato and just one regular potato, some carrots, red onion, good old garlic and uh, some tomatoes that are chopped in the can, no salt added and some vegetable stock and also some parsley. Um, we're adding some other uh, herbs and spices. Okay, so I chopped up the onion and the potatoes and the carrots. And I'm going to chop up the mushrooms as well. I'm just going to get these harder vegetables in once I started sauteing the onions. Okay, onions are sauteed. I'm just going to add... Add all of my other ingredients as well. So, all the potatoes, lentils, I had some tomatoes actually that I chopped up. I'm gonna add to this as well. Um, I'm gonna probably leave the mushrooms until last to add. So, I'm gonna add these lentils in now with the garlic and the ginger. Let's have a beautiful this looks. So I measured out one cup of lentils and I'm just going to rinse these. This guy, oops, is not very edible. So just make sure you pull those out. Look at all that color. So I filled the pan with the vegetable stock. And now I'm just going to let this simmer. I'm going to add in some parsley, some ginger, some garlic. And a ton of some herbs and spices. Whatever you've got growing around your kitchen. Nutmeg would be a good thing to add. Uh, it'll actually reduce gas. And I'm going to probably add some uh, a, a fresh chili as well, which I have in my fridge. One thing to note, I am using a stainless steel um, pan. Now, so I have seen people on YouTube using non-stick pans. Do some research. Non-stick pans actually um, are bad for you. They release chemicals into your food and produce carcinogens that will cause cancer. So if you can invest, I've got myself uh, a really awesome um, Gordon Ramsay kitchen set. But if you uh, can just get anything that's stainless steel, that would be healthier for everybody. Okay, so I added a bunch of herbs and some garlic, and I'm going to grate some ginger onto it now. The great thing about ginger, if you buy it organic, you don't need to peel it. Uh, and if any of you ginger lovers know, peeling ginger is a little bit of a bitch. So I like grating the whole thing so much easier. And it, it's also an anti-inflammatory, just like garlic. So it'll reduce uh, your chances of, of getting sick. So everything's in, mushrooms, parsley, everything's just simmering away. It smells so good, all I can smell is the ginger and the garlic. So this could be used as a stew, you could blend it up and make a soup. Uh, you could add it on top of some rice or some quinoa. You can get really creative, I think this is just a good base for the week. I already have it cooked and it's ready to go. And that's it. Look at that beautiful bowl of goodness. So today I'm just going to eat it as a stew. And tomorrow I'm going to probably add some quinoa or some rice. 
and I'll freeze the rest. There's definitely a good amount, enough here for a few meals. I live alone, so this will do me for a while. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget, subscribe, leave any tips for me, and enjoy.